This myth begins with that, as a result of a curse by the irascible sage Durawad, the senior god Prain and all deities had become weakened and lost battles against the Asuras or demons. The god Wisanu then devises a scheme to defeat the Asuras, to call a truce and ask them to help churn up the Amrit, an elixir of immortality from the sea of milk. The Asuras agreed to help. Mount Mandara, the king of the mountains, was uprooted and moved to a position where it could serve as the pivot for the churning. Mount Mandara, a spur of the world axis, Mount Meru was torn out to use as a churning stick. Wasuki, the king of snakes, was enlisted from the bottom of the sea of milk to serve as the churning rope. Two. Wasuki Nakara, the king of snakes, was enlisted from the bottom of the sea of milk to serve as the churning rope. The demons positioned themselves at the head of the snake and the deities at the tail. Exhausted from being rubbed against the mountain, the great serpent vomited poison, thus weakening the demons. Not long after the churning began, Mount Mandara started to topple. Wisanu then supported the pivot by being reincarnated as the tortoise Gulama to steady the mountain at the bottom of the ocean. The churning of the milky ocean had lasted for thousands of years. During the churning of the ocean, 14 wonderful treasures emerge from the depths. God Wisanu transforms himself into a beautiful girl to distract the demons and let the deities drink the elixir first. During all this time, the archdemon Rahu has disguised himself in order to drink the elixir. The moon saw this and reported it to Wisanu. He then threw his crystal chakra at the archdemon, cutting him in half. However, because of the elixir, Rahu did not die. He swore vengeance on the moon and threatened to eat it whenever they crossed paths. Because of this, the lunar eclipse was born. Eventually, Wisanu gave the remaining elixir to Prain to keep the water in heaven, and the demons were finally driven away.